Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Slimmer Shay here and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel and today we will be doing a five, five product <laughs> essentials starter makeup kit that you need if you are a beginner with makeup if you've never done makeup before and you're trying to get into makeup i'm gonna give you guys five products where you can get a full beat face and it's gonna be drugstore products so it'll be not only affordable but it'll only be five products that you need to have in your makeup collection these are five products that you need to start your makeup journey off with this is for you. If you're a makeup guru and you're trying to bring it back to the simple times in the old days, or you're trying to scale back and save some money and get you some drugstore products, this is the video for you. Okay? All right. I just want to let y'all know that. And let's get straight into the video. So today I'm starting off with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And this palette can be used for multiple things. So I'm starting off using the contour shade to fill in my brows so your brows kind of frame your face I like filling in my brows first and I like to do a nice natural shadow effect with this product so you just want to take like an angled brush and just brush that powder filling in any gaps that you may have in your brows so you don't want to create a whole new brow unless you don't have any hair on your brows but if you have brows you just want to fill in the empty gaps like so and then brush it through so to conceal your brows I'm using the LA girl pro concealer and this concealer is very affordable it is $2.99 at your local beauty supply store um, but this this product is really good because one it has a brush tip applicator so it's easy to apply and you want to apply this around the perimeter of the brow you just filled in what this does is make your brow look like you have like fresh waxed brows because if you've ever gotten your brows waxed or if you haven't like me but you've witnessed someone getting their brows waxed you know where they wax the hair it kind of peels off that top layer of the skin so it's lighter around your brows um, so that's what the concealer is mimicking and I'm just doing that on the top and the bottom you don't have to use too much product for this um, but you just want to blend that out and I have found blending it out with your finger once applying the product has been the most natural looking way for me to blend this out and yeah it it basically just cleans up your brow and you'll see the difference between this brow and the other brow but you just want to blend this out and if you don't like using your fingers to blend out your makeup then you can definitely use a brush for this I just think it looks way more natural when you blend it out with your finger and you can see the difference between this one that's cleaned up and then this one that's not as cleaned up now for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is their matte and poreless foundation in the shade 338, which is spicy brown. And this foundation is a little bit messy. You have to kind of like dump it on your hand or on a mixing plate or something. Um, and I'm just using my finger to dab this onto my face. The Maybelline Fit Me Foundation lines are bomb.com. I'm blending this out with a sponge this sponge is damp so I'm using that to blend out this foundation but back to the foundation this foundation is really good it's medium to it's buildable medium to full coverage foundation and it has so many shades for you to choose from not only does it have a good shade range but it also has dewy and the matte poreless version so if you have you know dry skin you can use the dewy one if you have oily skin you can use the matte one and as you can see my skin looks very flawless if you want to you can stop right here which gives you this full face natural look with only three drugstore products which in total only cost you no more than like 
$15 because this and the foundation are like six to seven dollars and then the LA girl pro concealer is like $2.99 so you can get this face natural face beat with drugstore products for only $15 um, the rest of the makeup routine I'm gonna show you is just if you want to do a little bit more glam or you want like a full face beat um, and again we're still just using these two products to finish up the face and then I have some setting powder and mascara that I'll share with you guys as well so you can stop here if you want to because I know some of you guys like don't want a full face look you just want like a natural subdued like I woke up like this kind of look and that will be this so now I'm just gonna show you guys how to step it up a notch to get you a full face beat with only five drugstore products so keep watching so now I'm going back in with the same LA girl pro concealer and I'm using this to highlight the high points of my face so this is supposed to basically bring forward all the attributes that you want to bring forward um, which is why it's called like highlighting slash concealing your face and you want to do this under your eyes some people do it on their chin like myself on the bridge of the nose and in the center of the forehead um, and this like I said basically just kind of brings that yellow tone back to me because the fit me foundation was a little bit red so by using this yellow toned concealer it kind of brings everything together and brings it back to my natural undertones and I'm just blending this out with a sponge you can blend it out with a brush or a sponge um, but I like to blend it out with a sponge so I'm just doing that here So next you want to set this and we're using the Cody Airspun Naturally Neutral Loose Setting Powder and I'm just putting some of this on the other side of the sponge and then blowing off the excess and then I'm just pressing that into the skin in all the areas that we used concealer. And this basically sets your makeup. So a lot of people ask why do you use setting powder? I don't understand the purpose. Blah blah blah. The purpose of using setting powder is to make sure your makeup stays in place so if you're outside and you start sweating you don't want your makeup to move anywhere um, especially if you're using a creamy concealer you really want to set it with a powder because creamy concealers will crease and crack on you very quickly so so that is why you want to use a setting powder to set your face Now I'm going back in with the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Gradients and I'm using the Sculpt shade and this is in their Dark to Deep um, shade so it is a little bit darker for my skin tone um, but I just wanted to use this to show you that it still works for people who have my skin tone and we're just using this to contour our face and contouring basically is the opposite of highlighting. It it snatches the parts that you put this darker color on. So it's kind of where your face has its natural shadow. So underneath your cheekbones, around your forehead, it makes your forehead look smaller if you um, add like contour powder on your forehead. If you wanna chisel the nose, um, like some people give themselves little fake nose jobs by contouring their nose really well. Um, so you can do that if you want to if you desire to appear that your nose is smaller same thing with your jawline if you just want it to look really chiseled you will use like a darker color that has like your undertone this one is a little bit red but it actually turned out pretty good compared to the rest of my skin and I'm also using the sculpt color to blend this in on the lid as my eyeshadow and this is just a trick that you can take a simple 
basic makeup look natural makeup look and spice it up just a tad by putting that contour shade in the crease on your lid and all over the eyes this just pulls everything together and it looks so much better in my opinion All right, so now I'm taking that highlight shade and we're gonna highlight our face. So this is kind of, again, this is where similar places to where you conceal, but places that you want it to just shine when you turn your head. So you wanna do this kind of above the cheekbone on both sides of the face, the bridge of the nose, you want that to kind of pop out. And you can also do your inner corner tear ducts and your brow bone and this is what the face is looking like and last but not least we're using the lash paradise mascara and this by far is my favorite drugstore mascara it is basically a dupe for the Too faced better than sex mascara so if you're looking for a good drugstore mascara i definitely recommend this one and that's pretty much it for the makeup look guys i'm just gonna give you guys some feedback and thoughts on the products that I chose and why I chose them so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching All right guys, so this is the finished look. I love how my makeup turned out. This shows you that you can get a beat face with only a little bit of products. If you watch my videos, I typically use a lot of products just because I have a lot of products and there's no point in having a lot of products if you don't use them. Um, but I wanted to reach out and relate to all of my ladies who are new to makeup, just getting into makeup. You're a beginner, you don't know where to start, you're not trying to spend a lot of money, and you just want to get a beat face like this. So you guys have been requesting it, so here is this video. I worked really hard to narrow down the products to only five drugstore products to get a look like this. And the five products, again, that we used today was the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. Um, and they just came out with the Dark to Deep um, shade range. I usually use the Medium to Dark. Um, but the Dark to Deep is really nice and I can still use it on my skin tone by using the Sculpt Color to Contour um, and using the Contour Color for the brows. Um, I've used this same like makeup look with the Medium to Dark and the colors still work just as fine. Um, another thing about this palette is that it has the highlight in here which is a very booming highlight. Like it's, it doesn't... It's not slacking, okay? So this is a very good product for beginners. Not only um, did you see how I use this palette today on the video, but also when you open it up, again, if you're brand new to makeup and you don't know, you know, what highlight and contour and all that is, it actually has like a little guide in here and it says like the application guide. So for contour, you will do it around your hairline, which will like make your forehead looks smaller, um, the sides of the nose to snatch your nose and make the bridge of your nose look narrow or more narrow. Along the cheekbones and your jawline, that just makes your face look more structured. Um, if you have like a fuller face, you can kind of create the illusion of a nice hard jawline by putting the contour shade there and then doing it on the jawline down here as well to slim down 
um, the edges of the face. And now this one, like I said, you want to match it towards your skin tone. So that's under the contour, which is this dark color. But you can use the sculpt color if you want to as well. I usually use this like more as a bronzer shade than in those areas. And then the highlight adds warmth to the cheeks, face, nose, and chin. So that's where we highlighted on the cheeks, the bridge of the nose. And we did the inner corner tear duct and the brow bone. Um, so yes, this product is really good for beginners. I would definitely say that it is an essential and it's only $7. Um, the second product that we use today is the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is the matte and poreless version in the shade Spicy Brown 338. And the lovely thing about this product is one, it's only like $5, five or six dollars. Um, it comes in so many shades and it also comes in a dewy finish as well as the matte poreless um, foundation line. So if you have um, dry skin you would like to you would probably want to try out the dewy version um, and then if you have more of like a normal to oily and it says it on the bottle if you have normal to oily skin you want to try the matte poreless version um so again the shade range is phenomenal they have so many shades in this um i will be doing like a vlog style video to show you guys how to pick out your drugstore foundation when you can't like swatch it on your face in store um so stay tuned for that but yeah maybelline fit me the good thing is if it doesn't match you can take it back um and it's only like five bucks so Again, foundation, this is a very, very good one for beginners. For concealer, we use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I know this concealer has been seen around a lot for a good bit of years. I first heard about this concealer from um, Tiara Walker, and she used this a lot in her videos, and it's a good quality concealer for only $2.99. Um, again, they have a lot of shades. If you get into like cream contouring or color correcting, you can also find products, this exact same product, um, but in the different shades for $2.99 as well. So I definitely recommend checking this out. Sometimes it's a little bit more expensive at like a drugstore like Ulta or something like that as opposed to um, going to the hair store and getting it. So if you have a local beauty supply store, I definitely recommend checking them out because they usually have the cheapest prices um, for the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So that's our third product. Only our third product, okay? And then the fourth product I used was the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this powder is from Walmart. And like I said, I believe it's only like $7. I'll list the price on the screen so you guys can see that. And I use this in Naturally Neutral. And as you can see, my packaging is like super old. I've had it for a good minute, but this is like, it has a lot of product in it, one, so you're not gonna run out of it quickly. And then two, it's really good because it doesn't leave flashback. It sets your concealer um, just as good as any other high-end translucent powder. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a translucent powder. And then last but not least, the last product I used was the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And this mascara is like a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and it really gives your lashes volume you don't need to add falsies or whatever if you are a beginner and you're just getting into makeup and stuff like that i definitely recommend trying out this mascara because like i said it gives your lashes volume it makes your eyes not look bare so i think this is the total care package for um this is the total care package for beginners okay Thumbnail. I'm thinking about uh, for my 50k giveaway I'm thinking about maybe doing like a beginner's starter kit and giving away that um so y'all let me know if you'd be interested in that um so also if you are not a beginner I wanted to share with you some add-ins or if you're going from beginner to um, intermediate I guess in your makeup game I wanted to add on a few more things that could take your look to the next level so primer wise primer is used to 
like prep the skin for the application of your makeup um, and to make your makeup last longer. So one of the ones that I really like is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. So if you have like um, combination to dry skin, this will hydrate your face while priming it for your foundation. And this probably will run you like $6 you can get at Walmart or the drugstore. Um, to finish off the look, I love, I used to always forget doing my lips, but my thing now is like either straight matte or it's going to be a lip gloss. And sometimes you don't have that, so you can use Vaseline on your lips to give your lips a nice gloss. Or you can use Carmex, which is just a chapstick, but it does give you a nice gloss on the lips, like so. And then last but not least is setting spray. When you use setting powder, um, you want to be light-handed if you're not going to use a setting spray, which is why we blew off the excess um, when setting our concealer with the Airspun setting powder. Um, but a setting spray basically just sets everything into the skin. Um, one of my favorite drugstore ones is the Milani Make It Dewy or the Make It Last. So if you have like oily skin, you will wanna go with the Make It Last um, setting spray. And the Make It Dewy setting spray just makes your face look even more dewy um, or like that summer glow. This will give you that look and I'll show you guys. And this setting spray has a nice, um, like I like how it sprays out, it's a nice mist. So yeah, as you can see the skin looks more dewy um and yeah you're ready to go so i hope i didn't ramble too much to you guys about the products i just really wanted to let you guys know if you're a beginner like you can get a beat face too for the low um so i really wanted to let you guys know how you can use these products differently um and let you know that i have some other videos for beginners coming up for you guys i'm working on getting together a tools video for beginners so the essential brushes and tools that you need to do your makeup when you're beginning without spending a lot of money so if you guys are interested in other videos like that please let me know in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up like comment and subscribe if you are not following me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram at slim Shay. the 50k giveaway for YouTube will not commence until I hit 10K on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram um, so we can get these giveaways rolling. I love you guys so much. And never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tiffle. Bye, guys.